hope you like that intro, because today I'm going to review Mega Man and Sonic World Unite. So unlike a lot of my other Mega Man videos, I'm actually going to review this whole crossover all at once, all 12 parts in one video. And I know that sounds crazy, but honestly, I think it's just going to be a lot more entertaining for me to tell you about my favorite parts of the crossover and give you a general outline of the story, rather than spending 12 entire videos slowly but slowly dragging you through the story. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you're not crazy about this format, though, don't worry. Uh, once the next Mega Man issue comes out, I'm going to start reviewing them one at a time again, just like I normally do. But until then, let's get on with the review. So the crossover starts out where Sigma uses the Genesis portals from Sonic's world to end up kidnapping Dr. Eggman and Dr. Wily so he can use them to create robots and weapons and all this other crazy stuff for his master plan. And right off the bat, they've already taken one of my favorite things from Worlds Collide and brought it to Worlds Unite. And that thing is the evil bromance between Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman. So if you didn't already know, back in Worlds Collide, Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman were the best of friends. I mean, basically, if you look at one of the variant covers from Worlds Collide, you'll see Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman riding a two-seat bicycle while drinking champagne. I mean, you can't get any more devotion to a friendship than that. So back then they were best friends, but after their worlds got reset, Dr. Wily couldn't even remember Dr. Eggman, and Dr. Eggman didn't even like Dr. Wily anymore. So now that they've gotten back together, they came to the conclusion that, hey, we're evil scientists, and you know, we want to rule the world. And last but not least, we hate Sigma. We got to do something about that. So they end up coming with a plan to kidnap Mega Man and Sonic and roboticize them so that they can use them later against Sigma. So they end up telling Sigma about this plan, but keeping it on the down low that they're actually going to use these robots to overthrow Sigma. And Sigma, not knowing this, gives the okay and lets Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman transform Mega Man and Sonic. So after Mega Man and Sonic are taken away and kidnapped, they're turned into the two most vicious robot masters of all time, Maega Man and Sonic Man. And I could go on forever just saying how funny the name Maega Man is. I mean, just like props to Ian Flynn there, because that's one of the funniest names I've ever seen. So that's basically the setup of the crossover. And as you can tell, that's a pretty crazy setup. That's pretty action packed. But it gets even crazier when Mega Man and Sonic turn back to normal, end up teaming up one more time, and end up creating a giant army of Robot Masters and Sonic's friends so that they can go and defeat Sigma. But for those of you who have read World Unite, you know that I'm ignoring one of the biggest things to come out of this crossover, the fact that Mega Man and Sonic are not the only franchises within Worlds Unite. So halfway through the crossover, another group of heroes comes through a Genesis portal to come and save the day. And that group of heroes is from the world of Street Fighter. And following them comes Alex Kidd and Ghost and Goblins and a ton of other franchises from Capcom and Sega all coming together through the power of the Genesis portals so that they can defeat Sigma once and for all. And I think there was a lot of complaints that the crossover was really clustered with so many franchises and characters all thrown in. But honestly, I think that every single character gets at least one line of dialogue. And with a short spam of 12 issues, that's pretty impressive. There were so many characters and so many battles, in fact, that they actually had to make a separate series from the crossover called Mega Man and Sonic battle books and it was basically a two-part series uh, that was just filled with fight scenes that they couldn't fit in the original crossover so they ended up putting them in a separate series of books and when I bought them I didn't expect much from them I thought it would just be a lot of punching and kicking and a ton of more fight scenes but there's actually so many great character moments in those battle books like one of the fights I remember is Knuckles versus Proto Man where Proto Man for the entire fight is just saying that he wished he could blow himself up and just get out of everybody's way so they can move on without him so that's one of the more dramatic fights from the battle books but then on the flip side, you got these really funny fights. Like you have Roll, Mega Man's sister, fighting Styx the Badger from Sonic Boom. And basically for the whole fight, Styx is creating an obstacle course so Roll has to run through and Roll's trying not to get blown up. And then at the end, you realize that Styx isn't trying to kill Roll. She's trying to kill Roll's broom because she thinks that the broom is an evil spy working for Sigma. And it's one of the most obscure fights of the entire battle. But it's one of the funniest, and I guess that's why. And, you know, I honestly think that's my favorite 
fight in the entire battle book. So if you ever get to read it, definitely read it. It's one of the funniest. I mean, Roll is just flying around on her broom. It's, it's crazy, but it's definitely awesome. So to finish off this review, I better talk about the ending of the crossover, uh, because a lot of fans are actually split up about it. A lot of people like the ending. They think it has a lot of good closure, but some people actually don't like the ending. They think it's kind of just as bad as Worlds Collide ending. And honestly, I really liked Worlds Collide ending, but I will admit it was kind of frustrating uh, because it was a cliffhanger. If you remember from Worlds Collide, it basically ends where you don't know what happens to Sonic or Eggman when Chaos Control goes out of whack and blows up in everybody's faces. You don't know what happened, so you had to wait a month to find out what happened with Sonic, and that's pretty frustrating. This crossover basically ends where when Mega Man and Sonic try Chaos Control and it doesn't work, they're pretty much stuck on this dying planet with everybody else just waiting for their doom until Xander Payne opens up a Genesis portal and ends up going back in time to where Sigma was about to leave and shoots him in the face so that when Sigma blows up, the entire crossover collapses on itself and never happens. So that's... That's pretty nuts. It's very similar to Worlds Collide, how everything kind of gets reset. But unlike the last crossover, the heroes and villains actually remember what happened to a certain degree. Like at the end of the crossover, Mega Man is like, I have no idea what just happened, but thanks Sonic. And then Sonic is like, man, this was weird, but you know, thanks Mega Man. And then you see Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman, and they don't remember anything, but they're like, did one of my plans just fail again? Whatever, we'll get them next time. And you know, that's how it ends. So there's a little bit more closure. I think the crossover ends with Sticks the Badger going, man, I wonder if there's more worlds to explore later on. And that's how the crossover ends. So I like it. It's a little more closure and it kind of gives a better ending to such a great crossover. So yeah, that's my review of Mega Man Sonic World Unite. But before I forget to put it in, I need to put this picture of Mega Man up here in the corner and the second I saw this in the crossover, I was like, I need to put this picture in my video. It's just, it's too funny. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it up there for the rest of the video. But don't worry, it's not going to be up there for long. Question of the day. What do you guys think of Mega Man Sonic Worlds Unite? Did you like it? What was your favorite part of the crossover? So, yeah, guys, this is Mega Robert signing off.